In the woods of central Sweden, a centuries-old sound echoes through the trees. This is Kulning, a way to call cattle back home to the small seasonal farms that were once common here. It dates back to the Middle Ages, its piercing call audible from far around. The tradition has survived until today and is still in use on this farm. It is a tool that you need to use uh, while herding. It's a way to bond with the cattle, to communicate with the cattle, to keep the herd together and to call them home. But it's also a way to, to send messages to, to other herders. This region was once dotted with farms like this, known as fairbolds in Swedish. In the summer, women took the cattle to graze in the forest to stop them eating the crops. For hard months, they lived off the land and cared for the animals, using kulning to call them back from the woods where they looked for food. Many closed as Sweden industrialized in the 19th century. Around 200 remain, and their owners are keen to keep their culture alive. For me, there's nothing better. This is the real life. And then it's like this that running a fabod means that you only take from nature's abundance. Here in Stockholm's prestigious Royal College of Music, teachers mentor students in Kuning. Fairbolds may be fewer in number, but their cattle call has survived and flourished away from them. Kuning, which has no lyrics, has been studied and performed as an art here. Since its introduction, the course has proved hugely popular. The, the, the amazing thing with these courses is that the people who apply, they come from totally different ways. They could come from, there could be an opera singer who wants to kind of uh, la learn something new about how, how to use the voice. There could be someone who just want to have it for calling the kids home for dinner. It could be someone who, who are interested in the kind of ethnological uh, perspective of, of this culture. In recent years, private courses have also started around Sweden. Students practice outdoors, learning how their own voices can create the powerful sounds. Most won't use it on fairboards, but it can bring other benefits. The personality is very close to the voice. And many people have been not been able to use, express themselves so much. So it's very releasing to, to do kulning. In the woods of Sweden's Dalarna, this group is practicing kulning by a lake for its unique acoustics. While the forests here are home to fewer fairboards now, these enthusiasts are making sure the calls will be heard for many years to come yet.